with a professional record of 16 wins, one defeat. Here is the popular Jeff McCall. <laughs> and in the red corner, weighing 164 pounds, he fights out of Boston, Massachusetts. He has a record of 75 wins, five defeats, and two draws. Introducing the veteran campaigner, Vinny Kirkjall. <laughs> Ten rounds of boxing. <laughs> Referee uh, Carlos Padilla in the middle of the ring now with the final instructions for both of these middleweights. Vinny Curto in the white. 26 knockouts amongst his 76 wins. He's 26 years old. Jeff McCall in the red from uh, Detroit. He's 24 years old, 15 and one with nine knockouts. And uh, those bright yellow gloves, the idea of Sylvester Stallone. He used that in the uh, Rocky films and uh, Obviously, they do work better on uh, television or in films. You can catch the, the punches a lot better. You can see uh, if they could connect or not. Not a bad idea. And uh, as we look at this fight, uh, Sly Stallone mentioned the boxing ability of Vinnie Curto. Uh, McCall, I think, in this fight, his job is to cut off the ring, try and get inside so that Curto can't use all of this 22-some uh, foot ring and so that Curto can't use all his boxing ability. Good left hook there by uh, Jeff McCall on the head of Vinnie Curto. Both fighters look a little tight, the feeling out process here in the opening round. And as you can tell on your television screen that uh, Jeff McCall is the taller of the two. He is six feet even, while Vinnie Curto is five and a half, uh, five feet, eight and a half inches. Here in Nevada, they use the 10 point must scoring system. Three judges at ringside will do the balloting. And the referee, Carlos Padilla, not involved at each other at the end of round nine, hitting after the bell. Here we are live, round ten. Both of them still yelling at each other while they're fighting. And they're really going at it now here in the tent. Quick combinations by McCall and Curto. Not too much damage in that flurry, but it's an indication they mean business in the tenth round. A cut in the left eyebrow, Curto is reopened quickly here in the tent. Couple of rights by uh, McCall, and he's tied up by Curto. Oh, and one of the biggest things Jeff McCall has going for him in this round is that there is that cut. Uh, in my mind, he's behind, but the point is, uh, the cut is there, and if he could damage it enough, uh, that's a, one possible ticket to victory for him. Both fighters obviously fighting the 10th and final round uh, with the thought in mind that perhaps this could swing the vote. No knockdowns in the fight. The only blood uh, from a cut lip by McCall and of course the uh, cut of the left eyebrow of Curto. And again, both fighters bang heads inside. And there's a bruise underneath the left eye of Jeff McCall. A right and a left by Curto. Pretty strong, pretty, pretty strong. Jeff McCall starting to look like a tired fighter. Halfway through the tent. And Curtis has thrown more punches in this round than McCall has. After a polite nine rounds at the end of the night, there was some hitting after the bell, and they really got angry at each other. That right hand whistled past the head of McCall. The crowd reacted. No full contact. They both missed right hands, and both those right hands were designed to end this fight. Less than a minute to go in the fight. Curto with a right and a left on the head of McCall. And now there is definitely blood underneath the left eye of McCall, but that's not his big problem. His big problem is that Curto is working very well inside right now. And McCall doesn't have much steam left to do any damage. Just threw a right uppercut. But uh, it doesn't look like right now that he can hurt Curto. Less than 30 seconds to go in the fight. Curto continues to work the body in these final seconds, much as he has throughout this entire fight. McCall giving away the fight here in the 10th. Right hand by Curto and a left hook. Curto continues to punch McCall as we head for the bell. 
And so they go the full 10, and we'll be back here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. We'll get the official arithmetic from Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a...